Hello, welcome to the Gin and Juice podcast. I am Melissa. And I'm Mel. And sometimes she's gin, all the time, every time she's gin. Not and true. I'm often juice. And on this podcast, we talk about life, politics, TV shows, and everything in between. But we have to give you one small update. Melanie has decided to cancel. Oh, yes. The uh, car, car chase. chases. I mean, <laughs> the car chase segment. Yes. I think it's my chair. It's okay. I think it's me. No, it's you. Stop doing that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hilarious. Hold on, y'all. Yes, look at Melissa's body yaddy yaddy out here. Oh, we're going to talk about it because I have a whole rant. Oh, there's a rant today. Oh it's coming. Gosh. So Mel's decided to cancel the um, car chase segment because why? Uh, because I was um, flagged to a comment about the fact that it can be triggering for people. I do recognize that uh, the car chases I like to watch and highlight are ones that I can find comedy in. I consider it a little bit like. Uh, cops used to be right mm -hmm. it's like look these people are dumb and idiots but the reality is they're wildly dangerous and a lot of people have been injured and killed innocent people um for sure and i don't want to the intention was never to make light of that it is just literally something i do because it happens so often especially in la uh, but i do want to be respectful and i don't want to be triggering for anyone ever and so we won't be doing car chases but i plan to fill that with other just reckless things that i uh, may come across and also yeah that y'all may send me because y'all be in my DM sending me all the car chases so send me other stuff too because uh, we won't be doing that anymore okay so long story short is the topic uh, the topic the segment where we talk about our life updates yes. and Mel has a ton I do so I wanted to go back to the very first episode where Mel was leaving LA. I was like, I don't know what we're going to do. We got to figure it out because I ain't got a job and we don't know if we're going to stay in LA. Um, and we went to Atlanta and did all the things. And I wanted to do the official update, which is that Greg signed a lease. Hello. Uh, and leases usually mean that you, you are, are locked staying. in. You're planted. So we are planted uh, in L.A. so we can continue this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we can continue this podcast at least for the next year. Yeah. Uh, because we are staying here. So, yeah. How do you feel about it? Uh, it's a li It's settling. It is settling. I and I hate limbo. I hate gray. I love I'm a black and white girl. Like, yo, let's let's whatever we're going to do. Descent and commit. Mm -hmm. If we go go back and forth, once a decision is made, though, I'm like all steam ahead, like full full on. So uh, it's nice to have to know where we're gonna be. Um, so that is that is done. We are staying here, and now we move on to, you know, trying to find a job, uh, which is the next thing I actually was going to say, mm -hmm. which is like I'm full on like trying to find employment. Uh, Makaya is nine months. And I'm getting the bug of like, yo, I can't, I really like miss working and yeah. like having something to do. So uh, I put out, uh, I'm a fan of LinkedIn. I think it is an incredible tool. Um, I if don't you use ever it, right? use, I feel like maybe I, I, I feel, I don't know if it's me. I'm not going to say I'm at the age because I actually think it's me. Cause I feel like I, my age group is part of a LinkedIn movement, yeah. but I feel like I missed out on the LinkedIn movement. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But I also think maybe because of the industry that you were in mm. that you never really had to fully commit to fully it, fully commit and utilize it. The thing about at least my experience in entertainment is I got Netflix because Someone, my old manager, sent me a message on LinkedIn. Wow. Like, it was no other reason outside of him doing a search on LinkedIn, came across my profile, thought that my experience matched what he was looking for, and sent me a message. And mm. I, because I check it, I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. Like, let's let's talk. Um, and so I have seen the way that it can work, but I think it it really depends on the industry. Your industry. Gotcha. Like I, I imagine no one in the healthcare is looking on LinkedIn to try to find nurses or, you know, yeah. like I just don't think it probably mm -hmm. goes in that way, but definitely for entertainment. Um, I wasn't a nurse, by the way. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. I was in the aerospace industry, but yes. I understand the point that yes. she's making. Uh, maybe now it would probably apply for aerospace. But anyway, I'm a fan of LinkedIn. All of that to say, I decided to make a post. I have been like 
casually looking for a job all of this time. And more recently, it was like, okay, we got to like turn the gears up. So I put up a post um, to say like, yo, I'm like actively looking, was laid off um, and took the summer off. And now it's like time. And I just was, I hoped that it would garner a lot of interest and a lot of posts and shares mm -hmm. and people would hit me up about positions. But like the amount of responses that I got amazing was amazing. It was just beyond what I ever even thought. Um, and people just are nice. I love when people are nice. People I love nice. being overwhelmed by how yes. nice people are. It was so it, it really is like really just heartwarming that like people are nice when yeah. they hear that you're in need. If they have a connection, I went to Spelman. I'm all about HBCUs and a woman that I have never met. Uh, at least I don't believe I've met her, but she DM, DM me like, hey, Spellman sis, Aww. let me tell you about this company I used to be at. I know people like I can send your email, send me your resume, like just looked out. And then somebody who is a fan of you guys oh, wow. DMs me like, hey, girl, I'm over here. Let me see what you do. Let me oh, look that's up. that's awesome. Our... And she just has like looked up positions. I never like to make tell people like, do you have anything at your yeah. company? I would rather like do the legwork and then be like, this is a position I'm interested yeah. in. But homegirl researched it and came back to me like, here are three jobs. Let me know if any of these are interesting. Oh, that's for amazing. You. That's and awesome. So it just is like amazing how nice. People, people are. are that's and, so, and it also i mean people are nice i I love being overwhelmed by how nice people are because it reminds you of like the humanity yeah you know but it also speaks to the work uh the worker is the word yeah. i'm looking for the worker that you are yeah. that people because you know people be not yes, always given true. their blessing yep. and on people they be kind of you know you got to yeah. hold that like currency so if people are willing to stick their neck out and be like yes. no this is a good one yeah i mean it also speaks to like your work ethic is the word i'm looking 100%, for 100 percent. which was i'm still squeaking you are which was um it was amazing because i've worked with a lot of people um especially at my career at netflix i just worked and met with so many people and so many of them either commented or came in my DMs like, yo, I loved working with you. If That's there's awesome. anybody that you see in my network that I can introduce you to, I will. Like, whatever I can do. And that, again, it just was really, really nice. And I'm excited because I have some even newer prospects that I didn't even consider or know about. So we have some new things happening. I've already had, I had, like, three interviews last week, yes. two or three, and yeah. then I had one this morning. Mm. So uh, we are hopeful that things will happen. I believe. Um, and it will be incredible. And we'll still be able to do some entrepreneurial things and work with y'all and do the podcast, all the other things. All of them are going to come. So anyway, that's Very why good. people are nice. All right. Uh, do I have a long story short? Um, oh, I do. Okay. This is my first long story short. That might be a rant. This is the thing, you guys, okay? This is the thing, because you're one of these people, and I want to call you a liar. What? Yep, you're a liar. Everybody, okay, if you are a person, is this my single right here? If you are a person that says, when I wake up in the morning, I feel so much better. I like to start my day that way. Isn't it so energizing? You're lying. I'm going to tell you why you're lying. What? Working out is the most exhausting, tiring. You know the parts of your body like this hurts. This hurts. Thighs hurt. This man had us. You know, have you seen football? What's the football show you be watching? What's the football show you be watching on Netflix? Uh, what's the football what? show? I don't no, yes, you really do. Impressive. Uh, you the show you watch called uh, uh, I should get a job, but I'm still playing football. What, girl? This is the worst. This is literally that is literally the show. I should get a job and give up my football career, but instead I'm still playing football. This is literally. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, and I God. do this all the time. I don't know. Yes, you do. Football show. P football show on this. Okay, this is the log line of the show, you guys. The log line of the show is, I sh last chance you. That is, you've obviously never watched it. <laughs> you've obviously never watched it. Yes, I it. have, and that's exactly what it is. That is not no, how you describe it, that. How do you describe it? These are college students 
That should get want, a job. Why should they get a job? They're they're trying to get a job, i.e. the NFL. They're trying to be professional athletes. So they are in college. They're literally college students. I don't understand all this aggression towards college students. What they're they not know? college students. They're like 37. You are lying. They're so male. They're not college student age. Yes. How are. old are the people? Chance. What's your name? Your name is not Chance because the name of the show is Chance. Chance? This is terrible. <laughs> Melissa, you are wrong. What they is are... the people? How old are they? Under 25. Are you being for real? Yes. They are college students who used to go to a school. How are they 25? Them... What? No, they're not 25. Under. They're yes. under 25 yes. as freshmen. Yes, because you sh- they don't be freshmen. They went to universities many times, and they, for some reason, their career at the D1 schools didn't work out, so they go to JUCOs. They go back to junior What's colleges. What's a JUCOs? A oh. junior college so that they can become uh, wanted players again. Basically, they go play at the junior colleges. They get their stats up, become very interesting. Scouts come and scout them, and they try to get them back to D1 schools. That's the whole premise of the show. It ain't got nothing to do with a job. You are wrong. They are. Watch the show. They are. Literally college, college students. I'm about, what's the log who, line? I'm a so you to call. No, I'm the t- log. This is the log line of last chance. You guys, this is the log line. Girl, students who should get jobs. Oh my gosh, because the NFL is not going to happen. Oh my. Listen, this is literally the log line. Okay, tell me the log line. Last chance. You follows a group of young men training to become the future. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Listen, someone said it's students that can't get into D1 schools. No. Therefore, they should get a job. Sometimes they come from D1 schools. They either get in oh, trouble. The- oh. Especially some of the black players. I only players. watched like two episodes. They become, exa- it can, I can tell. I only watched two episodes, but that was it a vibe. It is obvious. But listen, I don't know why I said that anyways. Where was I going with that? I, I, wrong. That, okay. No. No. First of all, let me. The exercise. Thank you very much, Chance. Stop calling this man cha- the disrespect is at an all time high. Cameron is literally my favorite person. This is what you're going to find out on this podcast. She is wrong. And I will stand down on my wrong. I am standing. Ten toes I down. I promise you. Wrong on oh, all of them. Loud and wrong. Bump juice. You can for you can call me loud and wrong because y'all are going to get. This is how I describe everything. Jen and wrong. This is how I describe everything in my life. You have to follow what I'm trying to say, not what I'm actually saying. So when I say football show, I said Netflix. You should. How many football shows are on Netflix? Not that many. There's then another I one called All American. What's that one? But that's a fictional. Football show. But it's fictional. You never said it was nonfiction. I said, follow men who should get a job that want to play football. No. What did I say? 37-year-olds? You said it's grown men who need grown to get men. a job, okay, but they you. play football thank instead. You. Grown men who should get a job that wants to play football instead. Is that American life? All American, first of all. <laughs> you are wrong today. Get back to exercising so I can tell you how this wrong you are about that. Too. No, yes, I am. No. Because it sucks. Every day I've been waking up in pain. Every day I've been sore. This man today, that's why I said it. <laughs> that's why I said it. Today he had us pushing oh. the little. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks fun. It's that's... not. Oh, okay. It, I thought I was going to throw up. Okay. I thought I was going to throw up and pass out. This is. The, did you know this, Cameron? Got that right this time, didn't I? Did you guys know that workout gear has heat, heat, Leave-in. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Leave-in. Insulated. Insulated workout gear. Okay. I didn't know that existed. Okay. In case y'all didn't know. That's smart. Except when you don't know that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have insulated pants and socks that go up to your calves. Like you wore that? Yes. Oh, let me tell you the whole story. <laughs> then I had long sleeve insulated shirts. Oh, you were trying to really work out. And the thickest, heaviest perfume. Perfume. Because I felt like I should test it out and see how it performed. Perfume and I thought that this, out? yes, because when else am I going to wear it? I don't know. This it seemed like a good like idea. A you problem. No, it wasn't a good idea. This is the problem. You. Be hot and can't cool down. Oh, because and the smell stuff a is thick heated. Perfume. Oh, this seems like a terrible idea. You will die. Outside, don't help. 
inside it's degrees. don't help. Oh, this Just is terrible. Hot. Yes. I thought I was going to die. The only good thing about it, let me show y'all, is that you ain't got no clothes on today. First of all, that's the thing. Look. Melissa, for anyone listening and not watching, okay. Melissa has she wore a half shirt today, first of all. I have four abs. Let's also talk about the fact that Melissa has had abs her entire life. Even when she was pregnant. This belly and immediately up. after she had and those children, male, male, always had male. abs. Get the angle. Look, male. Yeah, okay, booty looks good. Booty that's, looks good. That's two weeks into it in one day that's, today. Okay, but we're not going to... The abs, you've all, you've always could have worn that shirt and looked the, uh, exactly how you look. The butt is different. Please stop doing this. <laughs> I'm your sister and I'm, I want you to stop. I just went in Best Buy because we needed... I just wanted y'all to make sure y'all had good angles. <laughs> I went into Best Buy because we needed, what is this called, a hard drive? I said, Kev, I think my booty's getting big. <laughs> it does look firm. I Flat. feel, listen, I Hi. have um, I have Spanx on because you know they be giving you the little lift up. Uh -huh. But I don't think it's the Spanx. I just want to say that. Okay. I don't think it's okay. the Spanx. I think that I have been working out for seven days. <laughs> I was going to say. Ma'am, give it 30 days first. <laughs> I worked out three days in week one. I worked out three days in week two. Okay. I worked out one day, two days. That's day. seven. That's seven days. I just feel, oh, I'm lying. It's only been six days. I only worked out two days last week. Why? Because I'm doing four this week. <laughs> <laughs> it don't matter. Numbers don't matter. The What matters is that I got four abs. That you been had. And I got booty. Okay, I'll I go just, with the booty. I just want to say. You are reckless. That in Best Buy I said, Kev, look. And he also wasn't comfortable, which normally he's not. But I was like, <laughs> I'll be wearing, what do they call Hoochie Daddy shorts? Hoochie I'll be Daddy wearing, shorts I will wear Hoochie in mamas. December. Uh, I'll be wearing that in December, <laughs> January, February, March, April, all the months. You're this, be cold. this is now. I show him this is what's stupid. <laughs> uh, so that's my rant for the day that I want you guys to know that if you believe that working out makes you feel better and energizes you, you don't think so. No. You don't feel better. You don't you no. don't finish working out like, all right, you take a shower and you're like, oh, no. hey, let me like do my hair, no. makeup, and clothes. No. And be cute. No. I think you're lying because no. of the way that you're dressed. Because today. we're doing this. And I had to do marriage be hard. This is terrible. I am squeaking. Oh, daddy is in here. Daddy, what you got to say? Daddy! No, because daddy, if daddy work out for two days, he'll get abs too. Yeah, daddy the problem will. is this is a genetic thing. It is. Okay? This is all genetics. It is. Except for me. Okay. No, Mel has muscle retention too, though. Um, oh, this is retention. much better. Okay. That, that better. it Working out does suck. I also want to say that uh, prepare for a loud and wrong. I made Kevin a vegan wrap. And everyone can fight me on that because I made egg whites. Okay. And vegetables. Okay. And an almond tortilla. Okay. And I fried the vegetables in bacon fat. But this is the thing. Okay. This is actually what happened, and there will be a video about this. Okay, this is imagine. Okay, follow. Just follow me, you guys. Why close your eyes. No, bacon. close your eyes, and follow. Follow me. I'm okay. Not Go ahead. I we're on this workout, right? Forty yes. before forty. We need to get fit. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Follow. This is me as a wife. Okay, I'm gonna make my husband a vegan breakfast wrap, okay. meal prep, because that's how you win. So I went to Trader Joe's. Ew. First of all, bought a little vegetable medley thing okay. and scrambled it, sauteed it all up, okay. put it all together, and I ate one. I was like, yo, like, this is bomb. Like, this is very good. Okay. So I was like, Kev, I ran upstairs. He was in the shower, which is the whole thing because he was like, I can't eat in the shower. And I was like, yeah, but you have to taste this. It was like weird. Anyways, he tasted it. I was like, yo, this is really good. I said, I know, right? It's <laughs> vegan. And he was like, but you use egg whites. And I was like... Oh, egg whites. Oh, right, because eggs. Okay, got it. So egg whites make it oh, not vegan. I get confused about vegan, so vegetarian, and all the other things. But okay. then okay. that's when I admitted, well, I fried the vegetables in bacon fat. The reason why it's vegan, <laughs> okay, is because 
egg white should be considered vegan. Except for the fact. Okay, but no, just follow my just follow follow my math. Okay. okay. Egg white should be considered vegan. And if they were, I wouldn't have admitted to using bacon fat. No, wrong. Therefore, wrong, wrong. If you subtract, no, I'm sorry. If you add, <laughs> you don't even know what you said. Yes, I do. If you add egg whites into veganhood, and you subtract bacon fat from the vegetables, you have a vegan breakfast wrap. Somebody put Tabitha Brown on the line. <laughs> line one. <laughs> No, That's, I don't want vegetarian. Wait, let's no, talk this is about the, the differences between vegan and vegetarian. Yes, I know I the difference. I don't. If it's a byproduct of an animal, it's vegan. Vegetarian. Vegetarian. Vegetarian is plants and dairy. Right. So that's what I'm saying. I had plants. So why don't you just say you did a vegetarian wrap? Because well, it because was vegan. You, because the bacon fat just makes it a regular be- breakfast no, no, wrap. No, no. You are not no. health conscious at all. <laughs> you just made breakfast. Stop if, trying to get extra if, points for making if you regular breakfast. Ba- I, was n- I was never going to admit to bacon fat. What did you do with the bacon? Why did you have the fat? <laughs> you ate the bacon? <laughs> did you eat the bacon? I didn't say I. Who had vegan. the bacon? No, these are your. But then afterward, <laughs> once I was done, I added chicken sausage to it too. <laughs> this is, this is, I don't understand. <laughs> Listen, I said, well, if it's not vegan or vegetarian, I may as well add bacon. I mean, I may as well add chicken sausage. So then I just cut up some chicken sausage add and added in there. Why'd you do chicken sausage? Because, just because just sausage I'm still trying to be point. healthy. <laughs> Did Why are you trying to be vegan, vegetarian? No, I was or really corn? trying to like make something healthy. But meat can be healthy too, right? I know. That's why I did chicken sausage. And bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand why people get so caught up on like the technicalities of it all. The reality is... You are is, caught up in the technicalities. No, because, because if you all the people were like, no, oh, it's if vegetarian. If you were caught up in the technicalities, you would just say, I made breakfast. But you being caught up in the technicalities no. wants to say, I made a vegan, bacon fat, chicken <laughs> sausage, very opposite of vegan breakfast. No, no, no. No, no. The chicken sausage came after. So once I added Loud the chicken sausage, wrong. once I added the chicken sausage, I, I know I'm out. <laughs> I know I'm out. I just feel like I have an argument for vegan, though. And no one's arguing with you <laughs> because you're wrong. No one. I don't even know. I tap out. Call tap at the brown right now. Tap said, why are you trying to kill him? I said, <laughs> exactly. but I'm not, though. I literally, I'm not playing, though. Like, for real, though. I feel like I should get like wife of the war, wife of the year war, uh-huh. because my husband wants to lose weight. Me being the wife that I am, are making meal him gain prepped weight. him are a we- vegan breakfast wrap. Wait, meal prepped it? You did it the same day? No, I made a, a thing of it. You're going to continue to feed him this? Oh, tomorrow's the last day. I did it last week. <laughs> <laughs> he might as well order. I just, order some just food. feel like. That's not from you. No, once you added the bacon fat, I add. No, you guys are focusing on the wrong thing. You, you, it has to start with the egg whites. If we all can agree mm-hmm. that egg whites should be vegan, then I never would have admitted to the bacon fat. So therefore, it's vegan. Like if you just, just you're sh- not even in the community to try to ask them <laughs> to add things to their community. You're not even a part. I know Tab. She's she's the president. I'm sure. Not I'm sure at this point Good she's night. the president. I'm I'm 100. percent uh, I'm yeah. happy you enjoyed breakfast and that Kevin has to have another day of his not healthy breakfast. Yeah, he'll have, uh, I think tomorrow's the last day. Because I don't know how long egg whites are good for. Like, how when you meal prep, how long, what's the expiration date on meal prep food? I wouldn't go past five days. Oh, wait. E- oh, egg whites should be two days? I wouldn't keep egg whites. Me either. Yeah, I wouldn't keep Why? it for two days. <laughs> I have a question. You know you can just get the carton of egg whites? I did that. So why do you need to meal prep? You like pre-made it and are keeping it? You shouldn't keep them for like five days. Probably. Yeah, five is probably the limit. But that's the limit. Egg whites though? You don't need to keep that. They're vegan. I feel like because they're vegan and it's plants. <laughs> if, you, if you've got 
vegan. He should go to the. We. She don't need no vegan egg white. She don't need no egg white. She don't need none of the things. She needs fresh food first of all. She, she Melissa, her whole family don't even like leftovers. So why are you talking about trying to keep egg whites for five days? First of all, no, no, no. Carton. First of all, don't do that. Don't do that because I leftovers. You guys don't eat them. Have been gentrified to meal prepping. Yes. So y'all don't eat them though. But I meal prepped. <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't even like. I'm done. All right. Anything else on long story short? Listen to me. I'm about to change long story short to loud and wrong because loud and wrong. Y'all are finna get all this loud and wrong. Hello? Get some no. Get some just egg if you want to be vegan. You guys, no. This is why Kevin eats unhealthy and <laughs> stays the size that he is, even though he wants to supposedly lose weight. Is I actually may have bought just egg. How do you people. know? How do I know for sure if I... It says egg whites on there. If I got vegan egg whites, y'all will never hear the end of it. I made vegan wraps. I promise you I will go home today. <laughs> and if they are Take vegan egg whites... The bacon fat, I made it up. It will oh, you, you made never should have been part of the story. You're just willfully I, lying. I, no omission. <laughs> this is this is foolishness. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, I did meal prep. Okay, here we go. Wait, no, I have one more. Go, Mel. I need to talk about getting your nails done. Ooh, talk about it. It is so ghetto. annoying and it ghetto. Is. It is. Here's nails why. Is. I really like having my nails done. I hate getting my nails done. Mm. It's really expensive. It, it didn't is. used to be. When I first started getting my nails, I started getting my nails done because you got your nails done when you first got your job at KFC. Oh, I remember. And you used to always get your nails done. So then I when didn't know I that. got my job at KFC, I got my nails done because you did. It used to be twenty dollars. I did. And now it is five hundred thousand. Legitimately, <laughs> getting your nails so done is so expensive. Much money. On top of that, I don't like gel. You don't like Gel X? I hate Gel X nails. I like acrylic. The problem with Gel X nails. Hold on, Mel G. Now you just became loud and wrong. No. Gel X no, is superior than no, acrylic, though. No. But Let it, me tell you. Okay. Gel X is jelly, right? So it's like malleable and like. No, this is hard. What no, do you mean? It, no, no. Let me tell you. I like my cuticle to be clean. I like it to be clean around there. And what happens. I can't see on yours. But what happened? No, nope, right here. No, nope, you lying. Right Let me see. What happened? You see this little part? So what happens is around the cuticle, there be just a little bit of stuff, right? And no. you just want to like just chip that part off. But when it's gel X, it's jelly and malleable. So you can't just like flick it off. Acrylic is hard <laughs> and you can. So I don't like that. I don't like it. Yeah, but it's also, better. No, they also say that Gel X is better for your nails. So I'm okay, girl. Give me the Gel X. It you is. You know what happened? It broke. It was lifting. And so I took it off and it took my nail with it. So then my nail is damaged, even though, ooh, it's supposed to be so much better than it is acrylic. Better no. It is not better. But do they replace the Gel-X every time you go in? I've had both. I've had a fill on Gel-X and I've had it replaced when I go in. I don't like it. I prefer acrylic. The other thing is, oh, any time you get your nails done and you don't like it, it is like the biggest yeah. L ever. Oh. Because now you've paid $500,000. You've sat in the nail salon for 10 hours. Yep. And now you're leaving... And, and you, you don't, don't like even your name. like it. What a complete colossal it's waste so of time. Annoying. So I got my nails done yesterday. I like them though. And I hate no. Let me tell you, I got them done yesterday. I hate this length. It's way too short. I like coffee. Oh, GML does. And she made it's it. It's the shape. No, and she made it square. What happened is this morning I hated my nails so bad. I went to another salon nail salon Shut this up. morning and made him refile it the way that I wanted it. And it's still, it's I short. was going to say, yeah. The shape isn't all the way. No. you When you do coffin, it has to be longer so that you yeah, can get see this coffin shape. the coffin shape. Yeah. And I just hate it. I hate getting my nails done. But I love having my nails done. The end. You're not going to. You need you need to go to the girl in Burbank. What girl in Burbank? Tracy. The Tracy girl? Mm -hmm. She's not in Burbank, girl. And that's who I went to this morning. That's who fixed it. I think she is in Burbank. The the person we've been trying to tell you to go to? 
No. Who is Tracy? Tracy. She be doing the influencers. Oh, I don't know her. There, my favorite nail salon that I went to is in Burbank. When I her. used to live. I don't know her. But when I used to live out that way, I used to love... Send me, DM me her thing. <laughs> I used to love getting my, there was a salon there that I freaking loved. Once you find a nail tech that you like, get you, and can do what you need yes. them to do, it is kind of clutch. Like, I'm not going to lie. Yes. Whenever you go to a new city, it's, it's like me. doctor, dentist, nail, no, hair, 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 nail. It's the same level as like men finding a good barber. Yeah. Like you need to have a no, good stylist agree. and a good nail tech. Yes, I agree. They're the 100%. Same. And it's way too expensive. And you uh. make an appointment for why? Because all you're going to yes. do is sit there for three hours because yes. they accidentally took somebody yes. before your appointment. And you're looking like, girl, what's the point of writing me in your book? If it doesn't even matter. And, and anytime you go. I just want my nails done today because you made me get gel on my toes last time. So it's lasting for 10 oh, weeks. Oh, I hate that. But they be like, don't you want pedicure? Don't you want a pedicure? No, I don't and want then, a pedicure. And then, okay, fine, girl. Take my other $500,000 for the pedicure. And then it be like, well, don't you want this pedicure? You want the massage? massage. You want me to put the lotion on your feet you want and massage scrub. it? You want the scrub? You want the lemon peel? Yeah, they do, you do want you? the orange peel? Oh, and girl. you be like, no, no. I don't no, want none of this. No. no I no, just told them no, recently no. my cadence for toes is every other. I'm not doing yes. this with you. Because then that is will make your toes weak, though. Getting it every single time, take out, put on, take out, yeah. put on, it'll make your toes weak. That's See, real. I hate it. I hate it. These are. But I love it. <laughs> so you won't stop absolutely not. no no no. there's no stopping i don't I have a job and i'm still going to get my nails done I and understand. get them fixed when i don't like it how the long have we been here 30 okay we're moving okay, on yes yes, right. yes let's talk about pop the trunk i only have one where i didn't pop the trunk i popped the pin because karen's be penny this is what happened i was in pinkberry i was actually on the phone with mel talking about her yes. job situation and i ordered got my food whatever i had to do the runs to pick up the boys because kev was on set at his restroom i said on the phone with mel i said um can i get to key to the bathroom the girl said no and i said why and she said, because that's not for customers. And I said, that bathroom right there that's outward facing that's exactly into what you said. the lobby where your customers are is not for paying customers. I just paid for this. It's not for paying customers. And she said, no. So then Mel said, that's crazy. So then I said, that's ridiculous. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Absolutely you have ridiculous. a bathroom right here. It's not the one. I want to be clear. It is not the one behind where the employees are. Right. It is you open the door, you head back to get your ice cream. The bathroom is right there. And right here is the, the windowsill where you order your ice cream. Right there. Right. This is the yes. bathroom right there. Girl, that bathroom right there where I can see the door right now. I can open it. That one is no longer for customers. She said, no, I didn't want to be that person. She's an employee. She's just doing what she yes. was told. So you know what I did when I got home? I sent an email. Amen. I'm still waiting for them to respond. <laughs> I'll let y'all know what they say. But I sent an email because pre-COVID, I could use that bathroom. I go to that Pinkberry all the time. It's up the street. Why on God's green earth? Would I, the paying customer, yes. not be able to use your restroom when you offer drinks? Yes. You offer water. Hello? You offer smoothies. Do you don't, Can I not have to use the bathroom after I consume what I just paid you for? That doesn't make sense to you? It, it, that is dumb. I'm so, gonna... sometimes popping the trunk means popping the pin. Hello? Send I'm going to write a letter. I, Isaiah was like, why would you write an email? I said, why would I not? Hello? Why Yelp. would I not? Yelp review is calling. Why? <laughs> Come on. Why? They're lucky I didn't tweet them. Excuse me. I'm tweeting. Pinkberry? Yeah, you should have at them. Listen. I have questions. Yes. As to why Froyo, doggone, is seven, eight dollars anyway for a small. I know. And don't get toppings on no, it. No. And a lot. I can't use your bathroom? Yes. Girl. Make yes. it a sob story, too. I add need in to. that. You had kids there. Take my kids. Listen, you had my. I had a potty training two year old <laughs> who could not who use couldn't the bathroom. hold it, and I was treating them to, to fro yo because, because they did because... so good. Yep, they had a weak streak, and I said, "You know what I'm gonna do? Fro yo." Yep, 
pink berry. It's the best. I get there, ordered. We're all happy, having a good time. There's <laughs> rainbows and elephants and and lemons outside. I don't know. Things. Paint the picture. And I asked your employee after I paid seventy seven dollars because the seventy seven's back. Yes. For all of us to get ice cream, <laughs> and your employee told me I couldn't use it. Child. Imagine the heartbreak on my two year old. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. I'll let y'all know what they say. <laughs> Hello. All right. Next one. We got to talk about, okay, black Twitter trends. Topic about trending topics. We have to talk about this. Student loan forgiveness. Well, before I didn't get forgiven, she didn't get forgiven. I forgave <sighs> me, though. I personally forgave me. The student loan company may not have, but I personally have forgiven me. They ain't forgave me either. But my sister, the one I between know. us, she was forgiven. She was forgiven. Her loans, she sent hey. a screenshot to the point where like we were all confused. Yes. So she sent us a screenshot and was like, uh, I'm finna read it. Hold on. Where did she send it? Uh, Mama's on it, I think. Okay. I think it's this one. So she sent this and it said, here it is. Milestone reach. You've paid over 80% Child. of your student loan. Man. Out of her pocket, she has not paid over 80%. This says $67,000 paid. That's amazing. And she did not pay $67,000. The good thing is, if you are, um, if you already meet the qualifications. It's automatic. It's automatic. So they did hers automatically. You you know how you can check if you are a part of it? Go look at your loans. And but if the website was half, crashing, wasn't it? If it wasn't automatic. If it wasn't automatic, it'll come out in October, and then you have to do the application. Yes, I'm going to apply. I don't meet the qualifications, but I'm going to apply anyway in case they – I also don't have a job. But when do you officially but not have a job? Technically, I have a job. When That's do you officially not have a job? October 22nd. What is the deadline for it? If it's October to, 31st. I'm in there. I'm going to pre-fill it out and then just hit send <laughs> as I, soon as October 23rd comes. So, Well, but actually, but here's the thing. It actually doesn't apply to me anyway because I don't have federal loans anymore. I don't have. I I only have too. private loans. This is this is the only that's thing that's kind of annoying. a doozy about it. Like I understand it's the government, so they can only do government loans. I understand that's like their jurisdiction. I understand. I get it. Um, but for a lot of us, we consolidated yes. and went private and went private. That's yeah. Exactly. Well, I didn't know that twenty years ago. But I also I didn't even consolidate my federal ones. I paid them off. I paid them off. I want my money back. I want a refund. I would. I need to look because I saw that if you paid during the pandemic, they will give you some monies back. So I do need to see. I don't remember. I think it was during the pandemic because I got an influx of money because of a, a show I was on for oh, Netflix. Oh, that's and right. And I used it to pay it off. So I actually need to double check because I will cash in on that if if that if it applies to me. Well, listen. But if you got it paid, shout out to you. Man, shout out to you for real. That's and amazing. That's the lesson here, okay? If y'all got student loans or your student loan age, okay? You in last chance Cash you. In. Last chance. <laughs> <laughs> You're annoying. If you in last chance you, don't consolidate your loans first of all and pay them private ones first cuz yes. you never know what the government's going to do. Yes. And listen, don't miss out on your blessing trying to be responsible. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Listen, don't miss out on your blessing trying to be responsible. Okay, the next one is, um, oh, I just put links in here. Ding dong. Oh, Nick Cannon got another kid. I saw that. That man got a lot of babies. I, I saw an article. I don't think it's the truth, though. But they somebody was saying that maybe because he has that yep. disease, mm -hmm. that like having all of these kids is going to increase his chances of having a internal body organ thing that he may need at some point because of the disease he has. Yeah, but these kids are little. I know, but I somebody said that. I don't really know. I just that's what I read and I was like this seems a little far fetched, but whatever. Also, he just he has a the women who are deciding to continue having kids with him. That's y'all business. I actually concur. If you Wait list. That's a whole word. Yeah, it's a word. It might be an irresponsible word, but it's a word. <laughs> uh, I yeah, I think it is lupus, right? That yes, he has, yeah. I think so. Because uh, I was going to say it's an autoimmune situation. 
the the thing about it is the women are going in eyes wide open okay so yes. you decide yes. you know because i believe in agency so yes. these women are making a decision yes. to have a child by nick cannon and you are fully aware it's not like he's lying to y'all y'all are fully aware of his like situation with all yes. his kids listen more power to you the only problem i i don't not problem what i don't understand is why Nick hasn't decided I shouldn't do this. Yes, yes. I, I know you may want to have a kid with me, but I actually I shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, I'm at capacity. Yeah, I can't have any more. I shouldn't have any more kids. Let's be done with this. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't quite understand why that hasn't clicked for him. But again, I don't know his logic behind this. I don't know his motivation. Mm -hmm. Listen, live your life, Nicholas. Okay, live your very Hello. best life because who are me to judge thee? Hello. I feel like I'm a rapper. A little bit. Oh, or okay. Or a minister. Or a minister. <laughs> no, I be rapping. You said you, the and me, so it... Okay, the and ahead. me? That doesn't make you a rapper. But go ahead. Go ahead, girl. I, at one time, was practicing rapping um, uh, New York uh, by the Jay-Z. By Jay mm -hmm. I feel like I could do it. We can try it out. Pull it up. You gonna do it right now? Yeah. Pull it up. What's the name of the song? I don't know. What's the New York song by Jay Z? I don't know. I don't know. Cam. <laughs> Empire State of Mind. Why? Why okay, are here you we doing go. this? Okay, hold on. Let me get the lyrics though. We don't. You're not gonna be able to post this because it's, it's infringement. We don't have what you call it. I don't get no money. Okay, play it now. Play I'm it. I'm not playing it. Play it. Not How not do you play? Play it. How do I tap out? <laughs> <laughs> if I rap this. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm oh. excited. Hold on. Empire, state of mind with lyrics. Okay, here we go. With lyrics? Why do you need the lyrics? Uh, I didn't have it all memorized. It's been a long time. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. I'm only going to do a verse, though. Here we go. Can y'all hear the beat? Yeah, I'm up in Brooklyn. Now I'm down in Tribeca, right next to De Niro. But I'll be here forever. I'm the new Sinatra. And since I made it here, no. I can make it anywhere. Yeah, they love me everywhere. I used to become a car. I love all of my Dominicanas right up there on Broadway. <laughs> Brought me back to that McDonald's. Take me to this. Hold on. Send me. Tap out. Tap out. Coach down A Street, off West Lexus, driving on Sloop. BK is, is from Texas. Texas. Me, I'm up the bed, style, home no. of the built boy. <laughs> and I got my whip. This, you don't even know. Yes, I do. Stop. Still sipping my, my time. Still getting side. That's give me high five. I be spiked out. I get your girl up for me. Don't buy my attitude that I most definitely do. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all didn't think I could do it, and I could, because I used to be a rapper, period. Robin, I don't know her well, she be saying. Good night. I just want to say that in another lifetime, I was a rapper. And one day, y'all going to put some respect on my name. No, you girl, you <laughs> have a video rapping that was good. It was the airplanes. Yes. That because was I'm a rapper. <sighs> And now, where do we go from here? <laughs> <laughs> now what? You guys, first of all, this is the thing. Thank you. See me in the next lifetime. Thank you so much. <laughs> because y'all don't even know that I am a rapper. You know, you know what? You what know what else me? I used to do? Eminem. Don't. You know what impressed me? What? Doing Busta Rhymes verse. I don't know none of his stuff. Do that. I don't know none of do his stuff. Do that. And I will then practice. we can talk. I will practice. I used to. I know and Eminem what's too. The, what's the? It's the Chris Brown one. Which one? The Busta Rhymes. That uh, the dude from uh, Eighty Five South. No, he did the whole thing. You know what I'm talking about? Wait, what do? Which one from Eighty Five South? Oh my gosh! Hold on. If you just look up Busta Carlos? Rhymes, um, verse Chris. Look at me Chico, now. Chico, look at me now. Yep. Look at okay, okay. And he does the okay, verse. Okay, wait, what's? And I'm feeling like wait, 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 that I can do Eminem though is impressive. I don't want you to. I can do Eminem. What's the one he did with uh, Rihanna? I don't know. They Emin don't have a song. Eminem. They don't Rihanna. have a song. How do you spell Eminem? Chico Bean. He's the one who did it, and it was "Look at Me Now," Le and he did it. Oh, he I love the way. It. Okay, hold on. Wait. I oh wanna... no, no. Oh no. I, I can do talk Eminem. about reality. TV. No, no, no. Okay, hold on. You got ten minutes. I can do. That went up high. I can do. Um, I can do Eminem. 
uh, uh, Eight Mile. Oh. What is it? I don't know. What's the name of the Eight Mile song? I've never watched that or heard of it. Anything. I hate you so much. You know I don't know the name of the stuff. Oh, is the name of the song Eight Mile? No. That's the name of the movie. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Lose yourself. Lose in the moment. Okay, I can do it. Latoya Henry, why are you okay, going lose to yourself. comment with the name of the song okay, in the comments? Go. You can okay. go, man. Okay, okay. Lose yourself. I'm about to do it. Wait, with the lyrics. All y'all in here talk about lose yourself. All y'all okay, can here go. We go. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is how it starts? Y you don't even know! It's been a long time. I am. This is recklessness. Hey, wait, is this how it starts off? You don't even know. This is very dramatic. <gasps> the lyrics haven't popped up either. Let Eventually, I'm going to talk real reality TV. So Yo, what's coming up next? Stay tuned. <laughs> this is an intermission. There it goes. Okay. Okay. If you had one shot or one opportunity. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. This is everything you ever wanted in one moment. I'm sorry. Guys. I don't know this part. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. The helms are sweaty. Knees weak. Arms are heavy. There's vomit on the sweated already. Mom's spaghetti. He's nervous, but on the surface he looked calm and ready. You drop bombs, but he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd goes so loud. He opens his mouth, but the words won't come out. He's coking how everybody's joking now. The clock runs out. Over blow. Set back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there go gravity. Oh, he's so mad he I didn't know. problem you have the lyrics this is the problem i didn't know he said rabbit <laughs> <laughs> why were you so confident that you could do this? i did do it hush now don't do me i am Jesus. a you are a rapper for i am a rapper somebody a said rapper. you're a vegan rapper <laughs> period <laughs> and everything i do got bacon fat on it <laughs> All right, go I on, Hale. I hate it. I hate you so much. This is great. This is pure because chaos. Because you guys are getting all of my talent, okay? This is my talent. You guys didn't know that I could rap. How do you but define I can. talent? <laughs> <laughs> did I just do it? No. Did I you just do it? You literally did not. Yes, I did. You did not. Oh, snap back to reality. Oh, they're so mad at me. Oh, they're so mad rabbit at me. Rabbit oh, threw you so off. Rabbit -y. I didn't know he said rabbit. I don't know why <laughs> I don't even know why the word was in there. This is ridiculous. <gasps> this is also why I had to quit him because Eminem have too much lyrics. Just too many. Too just all the words. Just too much. Well, we need to learn. Bust if we together, you don't do it to get it. Bust the rhymes. Wait, though. play it a little bit so I can talent. hear it. Which that, one is it? It's uh, I just had it. Chico Bean. The, he did it. Wait. It's look at me now. Chico Bean rapped. He rapped the verse. Who is she going to be? 85 South. Oh. They can hear us. We're on a mic. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is just. Okay. Busta Rhymes. Look at. I'm getting paper. How does his rap? I, mean, I can't believe you don't know this. I feel like I might when you do it. Okay. Oh. How do you do this? No. I. This is too much. I don't like the, all the audio. It's, it's okay. Okay. It's bye. Okay. Anyway. He kills it, and y'all should go ahead and look it up because it's incredible when he does it. I love to see people do that verse because even How does it go? when Zim Chico Zim Bean does it, uh, Busta is there. He's looking at send him me impressed. The lyrics. Send me the lyric. He's I mean, send me the link. He's look, looking at him impressed like, okay, Sway, you This won't it. be monetized, by the way. We've, That's we've what played I was entire, saying. I never get monetized. It's fine. <sighs> YouTube sends me $3. Well. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm about to watch a little bit of it. Hold on. If you're only... Okay, I know Carlos. Oh, Coco Jones did it? I'm going to look that one up.
No. That, he's not. No, I know. He can't do it. Oh. Uh. If you're only listening and not watching where she's playing the video. Oh. But is he saying words? Yes. I'm intimidated. It's great. <laughs> he is a prank. This is great. I'll send you guys the link. Put it in, in case. There. I'll send you guys the link right now. I didn't know Coco Jones and Chico Bean did it. I'm gonna have to look that one up because I it's it is it brings me joy because it is wild how fast. Yeah, he's going Busta way too fast. I can't do that. Raps. I don't know if um, I can learn that. Speaking of, I did listen to um, God Did, okay? What's the that? new song with DJ Khaled and Jay-Z. Oh, I did the too. Verse. I didn't know that's what it was called. It's called God Did. And then he says, Hope God it. Did? Yeah. Okay. It's great. I I'm enjoyed also it. a Jay-Z fan, though, but also it was Me great. Me too. Because I'd be rapping. So Are we have you that. Now? Yeah, we, we have that in common. You know, I'd just be like, you know. I made a Brooklyn name a name a Jay Z song. I made a Brooklyn hat more famous than a Brooklyn did. Is that how it goes? No, <laughs> it's absolutely not. This is why you can't be. This is why you really are juice, right? Because you are vegetables with bacon fat. Whereas I'm like sway, give me the bacon. You're like Brooklyn did. And then he's famous, and then I did it. I'm a rapper. No, ma'am. I just not feel like there's a works. lot of hate coming the from you. I you just from feel like you. There's negativity <sighs> about my dreams and goals. Okay. And what I have you seen the American race? I don't know. That okay, is. this is actually just a sister moment. Okay, so hold on, because this is reality TV. Okay, okay. we went to um, uh, Lil Marcus's birthday party. It was a guy there that works on, he's a field producer mm -hmm. for reality TV. Oh. Yes, it was really interesting. Yeah. Like, he's done, like, a lot of, like, really cool stuff. Anyway, he did um, American Race. This is the show. Wait, can I pause you? Yeah. I just want to make sure that the show, I know a lot of reality TV. Can we verify and confirm that the show is called American Race and not Amazing Race? I just have a feeling <laughs> it's that it's not American race because I've never heard of that. And I just want to make sure that the show you're talking about, you're titling it correctly. It's absolutely called The Amazing Race. You knew what I was okay. talking about. The other, listen, Continue. I already told y'all. Continue. I'm going to say it wrong every time. I just want y'all to put some respect on I the fact that I'm going... always going to be juice. <laughs> and she's always going to be juice. American because race. This is who she really is. Amazing race. All the time. Oh, yeah. This is 100% Melissa. Whatever Continue, it's I'm listening. What's it called? Amazing. The Amazing Race. Okay, he was a field producer. Okay, you've seen it then? You've seen it for real? Yes. I, okay. I, yes. I'm not an avid watcher of it. I know what it it's is. It's good. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is a question, and then you can go. Yes. Would you... She, loud and wrong. I'm trying to tell y'all every time. I I give <laughs> loud and wrong. Lo, log lines of thoughts. I do too, but I'm better at it than you is the no. problem. No. Yes. Don't look at the comments. Give us something right now. <laughs> no, we're about to have a competition. No, because <gasps> this is the thing. Put something in the comments right now that I have to describe to Melanie. Oh, and I won't look? And you won't look okay. to see who gives a better clue. Oh, my But don't Jesus. look at the comments, Mel. Okay. Cam, give I us something. I can't even see them. Okay. Give us something right now to describe to the other person, like a show. <laughs> Okay. Like a show. Like a show title. And I have to describe it to Mel, and then she has to guess it based off my log line. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got one. Someone okay. put it in. Don't look at the I'm comments, not looking. Mel. I okay. Didn't look. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. 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 I know she's going to get this one because I already told her this one. Ready? Yes. Okay. 20 for 20, but on Netflix. Oh, that's, um, what is it called? Untold. Bingo. There you go. Okay. And it's not called 20 for 20, actually. I think it's called 30 for 30 or something like that. Okay, okay. go, go. Okay. Don't do anything after Queen of the South. Okay. Do anything before it. Okay, I'm looking. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Um, how about, don't look. I'm okay, not there okay, yet. okay. 
this is how we really make up games. A couple? Too. Okay. No. Couple. No. They're in high school and they sing all the time, the whole time. They're in high school and they sing all the time. It's a show? <laughs> It's a show, Mel. It's a movie. Oh, it's a movie. And they sing the whole time. And then they at the Glee. end, they go to a carnival. I said a movie. Oh, Grace, Grace. Yes. I said a movie. Oh, you did. Okay. 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 Last one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm not looking. Okay. You just made one up? Yes. No, I okay. got it right now. Okay. okay. Y'all be doing stupid stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You do okay. Hold on. You do stupid stuff. Yes. Like marry somebody who's dumb because y'all religion told y'all to, but y'all are being no. dumb. You're not talking about ninety day fiance. No. Oh no. Wait, because of your no. religion. No. Oh, oh yeah. No, sorry. Okay, let me add this bonus. Fail. Let me add, no, no. Fail. Let me add this part. Fail. Let me add this point. I win. You are. You are. You are related because of the marriage, but y'all ain't related. This is so okay, bad. But y'all be arguing in the house because y'all live together. It's Sister me. Wife. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. That was bad. That was a bad one. I did it. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Oh, wait. Okay. This is my last one, but I'm going to win because it's okay. easy. Singing competition. Turn your chair around. Oh. Um. Uh. I know who's that was in the it. Best I know, I know the show. I just don't know what it's called. It's called, you know what? You know what I would call it? What? The singing competition show where you turn your chair around. Exactly. Rest. I think Pharrell is in it. He did he do a season? Oh, that little white girl is in it. Which one? Um, this is not the name of the show. Ariana Grande. Yup. Okay, then that's the show. Then the voice. There we go. See. Anyway. I'm going to talk about TV because I, now We're we have here now. no minutes. Oh, wait. No. Last thing. Who would you go on the American race with? Amazing race. Who would you go on the American race? I wouldn't race. ever go on American race because that's not a show. And if it was a show, I wouldn't sign up. I told Kev that me and you could go together. On Amazing race? Um, oh, I got to look it up again because what happens? Listen, I'm going to tell you. Okay, this is what they do. Okay. He was a field producer on the show. That's where I started. Oh, so this is what you do. This. Yes. Full so circle. this is what you do. You have a couple, but it's just a parent, like two people, <laughs> okay. okay? And they're traveling the world to do these challenges. Okay. But sometimes they're, like, physical, and sometimes it's just like, like yesterday I watched the episode, and it was just like, uh, uh, go to Big Ben, then find a Bobby, but you have to realize that Bobby means police officer in Britain, and okay. then you have to go to this DJ thing, and you have clues there on where to go next. Okay. And then, yes. like, another one was you have to sort through mail and find the one that says the amazing race. Okay, okay. And then, but half of it is, like, are we, like, another one was go to a bakery and you had to uh, make a flag, the, uh, the flag of a country in the European Union. Okay, okay. That kind of stuff. And it's for, he said it's for six weeks. I don't know how long the season is. And then you would travel, like, they go from America, from the U.S. to Europe. They do a stint there. And then maybe you'll be in Africa for the next leg. Okay, but how does the partnership, you're going together and, like, doing these things together? Yes. Oh. So sometimes it's you, sometimes it's both of us, okay, sometimes okay. whatever. So another one was, like, you have to throw darts, and whoever, you know, you both have to hit the center oh. in the same round. Oh. And you only each get three rounds. Oh, that's hard. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it's stuff like that. I was like, Kev, we couldn't go. We couldn't. We would be divorced. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Yeah, me yeah, and Kev yeah. would be divorced. He would piss me off. I would I piss him of off. Great. It would. Yeah. It would just it not work. Worked. I said, me and Mel could go because the moment I realized, and we were like, "Well, we're gonna lose." Yeah. You want to go over here? Absolutely. That's why I figure I could go let's with detour. you. Yeah, let's just do. And they, you just, and that's fine. Okay. Unless we were winning, then I would be all in. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. If you're winning, then you keep going. Yeah. But once you're like, oh, we're in last place. Like, they had to put this flag thing together, and everyone couldn't tell what it was, and it was just a mess. And twin sisters were on there. Yeah. She started talking about her boyfriend, See, yeah, I'm and in. it got... I'm in. I was like, girl, you should watch it. It's good. Okay. Okay, go. I'm going to watch. Um. Okay, so in the last few minutes, are we going to do Jen and Just Juice question? Cause no, so we're out. Okay. So then I want to talk about, oh, Family Chantel, because the next episode, they're going to talk about he did want her card. taking the money. So that's going to be good. Y'all watch it. It's to, it's tonight. It's coming on tonight, actually. The the newest one? The newest one. I definitely think that he wanted a green card. Now, I wasn't sure in the beginning. 
like I follow the show, out, but I didn't. Yeah. But I did believe it was real because they've been married for five years. Yeah. Yeah. But this last one, his energy was just very much giving like, I'm just kind of yeah. done with you. And, and unless he's been done for a while. There's no real reason. She even said she said, I don't know the reason. He had some reason he was saying, but it's just not there's not anything strong enough. Yeah. To be like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, y'all are at the end of this. Mm -hmm. It seems like he just is like, I proved that I loved you, kind of, but also get my green car. I'm out of here, girl. I got stuff to do. I agree. It's so, very much that energy. Yeah. Um, and then I just need to say that the Kard Kardashians are coming back. And I'm watching. As a person, okay, I'm going to be watching. We're going to be watching. Mel got me on it, y'all. I don't even like the Kardashians, but I like that show. Yeah, the new one is good. I'm not keeping up. I ain't, I ain't do that. But I, for some reason, watched the Hulu version. I think because you were on uh, Matt Lee. Yeah, that's actually that's true. Uh, but I, I'm interested in this new angle. It's also like messier. Y'all know I like reality TV. That's my thing. So I'm gonna just go ahead and let y'all know right now. I'm gonna watch it. Oh well, I'm gonna watch other stuff too because I can't wait for a new season of 90 Day Fiance too because that's eventually gonna come back. And Love on Stage. So y'all need to watch Love on Stage because we are gonna talk about it because me uh, and Cat was yeah. on the episodes for the last two. So um, this next episode is gonna be the one after me. So I need to see what happens. So and okay. it got messy real quick on that show. All Trail. right. Oh, Nisi was in here. She said, um, uh, Auntie, I believe you're a rapper. She said, first of all, my niece said, you ate that song up, Auntie. I believe that you're you a rapper ate in it another up. lifetime. Thank ate you, it Nisi. up. In a bad way. Thank you, Nisi. I love you, girl. Okay. All right. We hope y'all enjoyed this Thank chaos. <laughs> we didn't talk about nothing. But everything. But everything. We yes. had a singing competition, a log line competition. <laughs> I really would do good at that show, though. If what? we really oh, came up. Race. Not no. American race? No, no, no. Oh, a log just... line competition. Oh, I'm in. I'm finna come with I'm finna come up with some. If y'all really gave us a list yes. and we really had to do the things, I feel like I would kill it because as long as I was familiar with the show. Kill it. it because I'd be giving good I'd be telling y'all what be happening in the show. You just gotta like orient yourself to what I'm saying. She's the juice and I'm the gin. I What's listen, up? I hold on to juice. <laughs> I will hold on. To juice. All right, y'all. Bye. <laughs> I gotta go uh, be a wife. Bye. Bye. <laughs>